We all can agree that the Chinese Communist Party and censorship go hand in hand. The Xi Jinping regime is infamous for undertaking massive censorship drives which are aimed at culling anything that is anti-China. Joining them now in the censorship crusade is the global search engine giant Google, as reports have emerged suggesting that YouTube, a Google-owned company, is automatically deleting comments that contain certain Chinese phrases related to criticism of the country's ruling Communist Party. The founder of Facebook's Oculus Virtual Reality, Palmer Lucky, has said in a tweet that YouTube deleted his comments made about the Internet Propaganda Division of the CCP. The comments were deleted within seconds, hinting that it was not done by humans and that YouTube had programmed its AI moderation to pick certain words. Palmer said, YouTube has deleted every comment I ever made about the Wu Mao and Internet Propaganda Division of the Chinese Communist Party. And he asked the question that who at Google decided to censor American comments on American videos hosted in America by an American platform that is already banned in China. Soon after Palmer came out with his tweet, other users also started sharing their part of the story regarding YouTube's dubious moderation guidelines. Human rights activist Jennifer Zeng had also made similar discoveries in the middle of May that proved that YouTube was indeed hashing out anything anti-Chinese. Zeng had tweeted, YouTube automatically deletes a comment in Chinese, Gong Fei, which means communist bandit, in 15 seconds. Comments using phrases like communist bandit or 50 cent army in Chinese characters are removed almost instantly from YouTube, proving that YouTube's algorithm is programmed to remove these keywords. Although YouTube did show up with a clarifying statement, but it merely tried to play down the whole incident. Speaking to The Verge, YouTube confirmed that censoring comments was happening, but it was an error and a team was working to fix the issue. However, if the deletions are the result of a simple mistake, then this mistake has been going on unnoticed for at least six months, which again makes us question YouTube's honesty. Reports of YouTube deleting Chinese phrases and demonetizing anti-CCP videos had been detected as early as October 2019 when the issue was raised on YouTube's official help pages. Google's ties with CCP have long been under suspicion. The search engine was banned from China in 2010, but it has found a workaround model to generate huge revenues from China, and it has shown willingness to impose harsh censorship at the behest of China as long as its business keeps growing. Google has also seen a huge upsurge in revenue from China, powered by a wave of Chinese tech companies buying ads outside of China to promote products like TikTok and the Alipay mobile wallet. Advertisements from TikTok also explain why Google had deleted over 5 million negative reviews from the Google Play Store when TikTok's ratings had nosedive to 1.3 stars in India. Google's revenue in Greater China, which includes mainland China as well as Hong Kong, Macau and Taiwan, grew by more than 60% to over $3 billion in 2018. China's domestic online advertising market is dominated by local ad platforms such as the e-commerce company Alibaba and search provider Baidu. But when Chinese businesses want to promote their products and services outside of China, they use global ad platforms like Google and Facebook. Emboldened by such huge revenues from advertisements only, it was reported that Google was developing a secret censored version of its search app to launch in China. However, after the news broke out in public about this project Dragonfly, Google faced massive backlash. This is when it shelved the entire plan to save its face. Billionaire investor Peter Thiel last year had accused Google of working with the Chinese military. One of Thiel's other accusations was that Chinese spies have infiltrated Google's artificial intelligence projects. After Palmer's revelations, American Senator Josh Hawley has written a letter to Google demanding answers on this issue, while Senator Ted Cruz has deemed this revelation very disturbing and that big tech is drunk on power. The carefully orchestrated use of AI learning and manual moderation is being employed by Google to remove anti-China posts and comments. 
There have been reports of YouTube censoring coronavirus-related content as well, as such videos, more often than not, put the blame of the spread of the virus on the CCP. However, YouTube, as usual, hides behind the legally drafted disclaimer that such videos fall in the sensitive topics category. The American government should come down heavily on Google and announce an investigation to determine how deep the CCP rot runs in the Silicon Valley company. Otherwise, the Chinese influence will reduce the search giant and its related companies into a mere puppet of the dragon and its sinister motives.